What up, what up, everybody? It's the Rottweiler Patriots. I'm Vegas. And I'm T-Bone. And we're coming at you with another video today. This is a new series that we are starting this week. We are going to be doing our playoff predictions for the AFC headed into week 12. So we're going to be doing this for both the AFC and the NFC. This is a video we're doing these videos once every two weeks. So we'll do we're doing before week 12 this week we'll do before week 14 week 16 and before week 18 you'll get th the afc video will be released every wednesday at four o'clock or that's a planned release schedule obviously school and whatever else can affect our release schedule and what we're able to do that's just been the case for us unfortunately and then the plan is to have thursdays at 4 p.m be when the nfc predictions are released on their respective weeks so that is the game plan for this series and with that being said, let's get into it. So, my prediction for the seven seed in the AFC is going to be the Cleveland Browns. The Browns are a team who sit at 7-3, and three, and they have been pretty good, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Obviously, the Deshaun Watson injury knocking him out for the season is going to hurt them, and that's why I have them down at number 7. I think that'll cost them a couple of games, and that'll hurt their playoff seating. But with, the, with their current record and the way their defense is playing right now, I see the Browns having a pretty good chance of making the playoffs. So with my uh, seventh seed, I have the Buffalo Bills. And I understand that they have been a little slow uh, to start and just I fully just, just a slow team. Um, that being said, I do still think that Josh Allen and Diggs have, uh, have time left. Not a lot of time left. Some time left. Uh, they're six and five. They do have a pretty rough schedule ahead. Uh, but I think that I think that they will be able to squeak it out. Alrighty, my prediction for the number six seed in the AFC is the Denver Broncos. The Broncos currently sit at five and five, but they are on a nice little winning streak, including beating good teams like the Chiefs, Bills, and Vikings, and. It was kind of between the Broncos and the Bills for me of who would be the other team to make the playoffs. And I chose the Broncos because, one, they beat the Bills. Two, they are playing better than the Bills currently. And three, they have an easier schedule than the Bills. The Bills have Chiefs, Eagles, and Cowboys back to back to back. Plus, they have Chargers, Patriots, Dolphins after that, which those games aren't exactly walkovers. So... With just the way things have been trending, I trust Denver a little more than I trust Buffalo. Sean Payton's done a very good job turning that season around. Obviously, wish they would have started a little bit better. But, you know, Russ is going. They're making it happen, and I trust them to do it. And I have them leapfrogging the Browns just because of the Deshaun Watson injury. So, for my sixth seed, I have the Cleveland Browns. So, I moved up, you know, just one, one more pace. So they are seven and three, and that defense is on a roll, and they have done very well despite injuries. Stefanski is performing very well. Broncos just barely made it out of this list, by the way. I, I had them. They are number eight for me. Um, I just trust the Bills a little bit more. But uh, the Browns have just been performing. DTR is being solid. They've got the most elite Super Bowl MVP, Joe Flacco. And uh, yeah, so I I. As much of a joke that is, I, I do trust the Browns to continue some of their steamrolling with their defense and their campaign. Alrighty, my prediction for number five seed in the AFC is the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars currently sit one game ahead of the Texans at the top of the AFC South at 7-3, and three, but their play has been very unconvincing, and they got a couple of Tough games coming up, including a head-to-head -head matchup against Houston. Houston, earlier in the season, destroyed them 37-17. And I honestly have a hard time seeing the Jaguars return the favor. And if they lose to the Texans, which I do predict, and that will be my prediction in our predictions video, 
they're in a really bad spot to win the thing because then they're even on record with a tougher schedule than the Texans, and the Texans will have the complete head-to-head -head battle on them. So, that's why I have the Jaguars at number five. So, for my fifth seed pick, I have the Texans. Because while I do think that the Texans are the better team, they, let's, get, let's get that straight. I do think the Texans are a better team than the Jaguars. I do have the Texans just not being able to finish out stronger than the Jags. I feel like the Jags are going to finish out stronger. They typically play a better late get late season. So I'm just I mean they did it last year. So I think they're just gonna keep rolling with that with that steam rolling. I, I do think the Texans are a better team. They're playing better, but I have the Jags just uh you know beating the, beating them out for the for the top spot. Alrighty, my prediction for the number four seed in the AFC is the Houston Texans. The Texans, I believe, will be able to surpass the Jaguars, sit only a game behind them, destroyed them in their first meeting. I expect the Texans to get the job done in their second meeting coming up this week. And, like, they're the better football team, in my opinion. And I think the little bit of an easy, I think they have a little bit of an easier schedule. I just think they'll be in a better position to close out the year. Obviously, with the competition in the other divisions between the you know the Chiefs, Ravens, and Dolphins. Even though I think they're better than the Dolphins, I don't know if they're because of some of their early season losses. I don't know if their record is going to be good enough to catch up to those other teams, which is why I have them down as the four seed. Fourth seed for me is the Jags. Uh, very much, I kind of explained my reasoning for the fourth and fifth seed. They are very, very close. I do think the Jags are just going to finish out a little bit stronger. They're a little bit more of a, a grown team, a little bit more of a veteran team, which is why I think the Jags are going to do what they do. Uh, that being said, you know, I, I do have the Texans being a better team and will probably make it deeper in the playoffs. Alrighty, my prediction for the number three seed in the AFC is the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins looking like the favorites to win the AFC East, largely because the Jets and the Bills are underperforming. The Dolphins, I would say, are also underperforming, which is why I don't have them as number one or two. I don't just don't think they're going to finish as strong as the other two teams above them, but just with the way the Bills are playing right now, the way the Jets are playing, the way the Patriots are playing right now, the division is theirs to lose, and even with their inconsistent play, I don't see them losing it, so, and I don't see them, I see them finishing slightly better than whoever wins the AFC South, so that's why I've got them at number three. So my number three is also the Dolphins, I mean, same reasoning. Uh, there, there's the lose, you know, it's just there still some questions, but that being said, it's just it's there's the lose. The 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 Bills did not do a good job defending it. It is the Dolphins this year. Alrighty, my prediction for the number two seed in the AFC is the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens I expect to be able to outlast the Browns and the Steelers and win the AFC North. Obviously, injury concerns, they're starting to pile up a little bit. They've fought them off really well. They've overcome that adversary, adversity, but losing Mark Andrews is going to be a massive blow to them. And I think that's going to affect them a little bit. I do think they're going to win the division. I think they're going to be better than the Dolphins. I could have easily seen the Ravens finishing as the one seed had Andrews not gotten hurt, I think that's going to affect them just enough where it knocks them down a peg to the number two, unfortunately costing them that first round bye. So for my two, I have the Chiefs, actually, because I do think that they are going to continue to struggle a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, second half, and they are going to sputter. I think they're still going to, obviously, they won the they won the West. Um, 
but I, I do think that uh, they are going to uh, sputter a little bit and they're going to keep struggling a little bit and maybe lose a few more games. All righty, and my prediction for the number one seed in the American Football Conference is the Kansas City Chiefs. I absolutely hated putting them here, but I just see too many other er, issues with teams like the Dolphins and Texans, and even with the Chiefs' struggles, for me, I think the Ravens' injuries are going to have to catch up to them eventually, even though they've done a good job of playing through it all. And I think just by the end of it, I think the Chiefs are going to be able to finish off a little bit better than the Ravens. The other thing about the Chiefs is their issues are self-inflicted, and if they're able to fix some of their issues, like not scoring in the second half, they're much better set up for success, much better set up for a strong finish than the Ravens' issues, which are largely injury-related and those you can't really control. So, for that reason, I think the Chiefs have a better chance of finishing out on top, and that's why I've got them predicted for the number one seed. So for the number one seed for me in the American Football Conference, I have the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I think that they are going to continue to overcome and perform, and I, I, I do acknowledge that they have an uphill battle. Uh, that being said, I just I I I have more faith in them. I trust them more. I think that I think that Lamar is going to perform and go crazy, and I think they're going to clinch the number one. Alrighty, that is going to round it out for our predictions this week. So my predictions are the Browns are going to be the number 7 seed. The Broncos will be the number 6 seed. The Jaguars will be the number 5 seed. The Texans will win the AFC South and finish as the number 4 seed. The Dolphins will win the AFC East and come in as the number 3 seed. The Ravens will win the AFC North and come in as the number 2 seed. And the Kansas City Chiefs will win the AFC West, come in as the number 1 seed, and get the first round by headed into the playoffs. And for me, we have the Buffalo Bills at number 7, the Cleveland Browns at number 6, the Texans at number 5, and winning the AFC South, Jags, winning East, Dolphins, winning West, Chiefs, and winning AFC, Ravens. Please be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Feel free to drop your own predictions for the playoffs or anything else you would like. We would love to hear what you all have to say. And that is going to do it for us today. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button. Please be sure to subscribe. And we will see you all in the next video.